total atomic annihilation. Hey everybody, welcome back to Just Nukem Gaming. This is Nuke here, and we're going to be taking our look at the survival horror game, Daymare 1998. Supposed to be very much inspired by the 1990s you know, survival horror games like Resident Evil. Apparently a little bit of Silent Hill just for the heck of it. And it's uh, a little on the rough side. A little on the rough side. So we're continuing our little journey with Raven. We survived our adventure through the sewers. Met a really horrible, god awful enemy right at the end. That, yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing affects him. I mean, you damage him, but he just like you're going to you know, bubble at him, even with the shotgun. But we made it through. Yes, and that's copper, which I thought I'd actually crashed in the lake. Guess not. Guess not. Yeah, we're looking for... Sand Max. I don't think he realized that he's been changed into this very minted, horrible monster. He's slowly coming his way there. Grant, we were shoved out of the helicopter. goes up. Let's... Or over here. We really... We really need some more healing. Oh, no going up the ladder. Nab it. Yeah. Just like some other guys. You, there's no no staggering them. health that's not great not the great
and finding some new type of ammo. Guessing is for some sort of magnum, maybe an awesome sniper rifle. Okay, poisoning plant. But we have yet to actually come across the gun. Hopefully we didn't miss it, but no, judging by the fact that that previous magnum, we did absolutely nothing to those guys. out sometimes y'all don't when you're okay, stay down okay regiments movements date august 20th 1998 time 11 30 a.m Crisis Response and Counterterrorism Division. Report number one Mobilization of U.S. Army's troops to assist Excorps Biogenex units in Keenside area. Quadrant one East Keenside, Fortified Station, Town Main Access Blocked. Quadrant two North Keenside, Downtown, Regiment Conducting Surveillance and Investigation. Quadrant three South Keenside, Port. Regiment encountered contaminated hostiles and declared emergency. Request immediate support. Quadrant 4, West Queens, Keenside, gas station. That's where we're at. Fortified station. Town secondary access blocked. Date, August 20, 1998. Time, 8.21 p.m. Crisis response and counterterrorism division. Port number 2. Mobilization of U.S. Army troops to assist hexacore biogenic units. Area. Quadrant 1, East Keenside, Fortified Station, Lost Communication. Quadrant 2, North Keenside, Downtown, Lost Communication. Quadrant 3, South Keenside, Port, Lost Communication. And Quadrant 4, East Keenside, Gas Station, Garrison Cut Off, in danger of pending hostile attack. Calls for intimidation, a clean slate protocol by headquarters. Let me guess, you're going to nuke the town. Some of its pages are missing. Report on Castor Hades. It seems that the combination of CSR03 Castor Gas, H additive, last present in large quantities in the Hades operatives, causes a new type of gene mutation that's completed 10 to 20 hours after zero hour. We call them Castor Hades. During the transformation, the subject slips into a comatose state due to the immune system's heightened response due to H additive. After a period, the subject awakens, transformed to a sort of impossibly fast, highly sourceful, deadly creature that... Giant pain in my butt. Something, how do I turn the power on? I didn't need to come here just yet. there.
proof. Guess we're gonna go maybe up first, then come back down here. Down there. Yes, dear. Oh, that was a magazine. We're gonna I still don't have. Going to those magnum rounds here pretty or those hollow points. Headshot. Power. You know, I... Okay. Another guy was in the helicopter. Did we finally get another magazine for our handgun? We did. Empty that then. And up those hollow points. It's nice. It's nice. Somebody. There you are. Okay, you come here because I can't shoot through fences. Oh, come on. Nonsense. And we got no healing. No healing whatsoever. There 
another guy coming? How'd you... Okay, HDR002 Golden Fleece. Use. Antiviral use exclusively to stem and eliminate the replication of Pollock's infected cells and subjects do not present a prolonged infection. In case of a prolonged infection, in fact, only 36 hours is enough. Intracellular fusion is such that the process becomes irreversible. Composition posed mostly at concentrated doses of hormones mixed with serum extracted from the hybrid jellyfish in North Fall Islands. Exceptionally, the high dose of hormones goes to anthesize cells affected by the virus making them passive, blocking the replication while the regenerative capacity deriving from jellyfish is used with the process whereby infected cells are themselves victims of regeneration and therefore regenerate until they're healthy. Go in... There. Do I want to go in here? B. Oh, thank you, mental fluid. Oh. Okay, no, no healing. Maybe one of these chips will give me some healing. That's worthless. That is what you're going to give me. What if we find the gun? Uh, risk it. Yeah. Save. Make sure we're saving a separate slot. Of course, of course, they can't get the heck, damn it, shotgun out. Okay, we're gonna load. Now this time we're actually gonna be ready for him. So slow to switch weapons. So slow. You are in such bad shape. Come on. 
Okay, blood pool. Go down. The gas station. We really badly need some healing. And the trading system at the safe station is just abysmal. It's a DeLorean. Wait, do energy drinks? Hey, help, yeah. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting a DeLorean. Exo Warrior Queen. Ball game looks a little up. What we can with the energy bar. Maybe the energy drink. We'll probably need to run back to the safe place and grab a H add to for that. first. Hey, back here. Red rum. an axe to back. Soldier's Diary, August 28, 1998. Early afternoon. Although we were trained physically and mentally to handle extreme situations, no one could truly be prepared for a nightmare like this. My department got alerted last night. We only had a few minutes to suit up and truck out to a small town in the middle of nowhere. I could tell it was no ordinary mission by a supervisor's stunned look. But when is it, but when it is ever when... But when is it ever when our anti-terror countermeasure unit is deployed? That being said, I never imagined something like this. We arrived at dawn. After what seemed like an endless journey in mountain woods, we were immediately attacked by a group of crazies before we even had time. We established a perimeter around the gas station. We put them down like dogs when they attacked us, injuring some of our teammates. Our orders are to patrol the road into town and quarantine the entire area. It's easy to guess that some kind of disease must have gotten out. Once the barricades were in place, we threw the bodies in the pile and burned them. While the medics set up some kind of makeshift ER to try and save the injured infected subjects for their little science project. Despite all hell breaking loose, it's calm now. It ain't so bad because now I have time to make a note about what happened here. I feel surprisingly well. Evening. Looks like the next few hours will be our last for this town. Will be the last for this town and its helpless inhabitants. Maybe even ours. Heard Lieutenant Ford on the radio with command over at the dam. Seems we've been celebrating our victory a little too soon, as the infected are tearing apart our men on the streets. Now we've lost communication with all the units, and according to our latest calm, Ford infected are making their way here. Jerome McClintock decided to proceed with the clean slate protocol, burn the whole place down, along with anything in it. 
We've been instructed to hold our positions and halt the impending attack until further orders are given. We're supposed to shoot to kill, regardless of who it is, infected or not infected. They could be carriers of this infected up disease. I don't know. I don't like the idea of gunning down innocent people. It's like I didn't like the look of my supervisor. From the start, we've only been given a little intel as necessary. What's really been going on here? But it's getting late now. There's nothing more to do but restrict access to now. Those monsters at bay. Pray to God Almighty that we live to see another sunrise. Arf. Ooh, is that our Magnum? Yep, I think we got our Magnum. Heavy gas operated, high caliber Magnum pistol. Maximum capability of 11 powerful 50 caliber rounds made in Israel and adopted by the US Army. Nice, very, very nice. Got a little more ammo for it. Oh, okay, so we did need to come down here. Hey, run, run, dude, I mean, like literally run. Run. Habit. God, running is the so horrible in this game. Our pool of blood. Run back up to the safe spot. Grab a mixer. Maybe time just to switch over to the hollow point rounds. Because we got so many of them. Gotta start carrying. Carry the extra ammo. 50 Madden or just maybe just the magazine.
least gets us to 100% health. Now we still have no more healing once again. Good news is... Got that magnum plus an extra 10 rounds we could carry. Jump over straight to the hollow points for now. Get rid of that third magazine. That leaves us uh, shotgun shells and special slugs. We save. We want out of here. A big monster, thank you. Was it like the helicopter crash over here or something? This is an arena. That's what this is. What the fuck are you supposed to be? Fucking hell. This is bad. This is like the weakest Magnum I've ever seen in a video game. So weak. Oh my god. I'd be relying on this. the health fluid. 
throwing a little ammo my way. Something. Knocking shells. Ooh, 17. That's actually a good lot. Alright. Uh, go down the trail. Oh, the magazine. By a twist of fate, Raven somehow managed to defeat the deadly new menace that attacked him at the crash site. He lets out a sigh of relief of not finding Sandman's body among the debris, yet there are still no signs of where he could have gone. The only thing it remains to do now is head for LexCorp's lab, LexCorp's headquarters, in the core of the Lair Dam, try to find a way to establish a direct calm with the Major. Oh, really, it's called the Lair Dam? Like the evil lair. Alrighty. for that Find another safe spot so we can drop that extra. E magazine. To the attention of General McClintock. In accordance with the Department of Defense and Intelligence Agency, we're ordering the implementation of a clean slate protocol for the town of Keensight and surrounding area at 6 a.m. on August 21st. Primary proceedings. Next core facility is equipped with the internal self-destruction system, which by detonating over 200 pounds of C4 plant in the dam's wall, completely annihilate the research center, as well as the town, that is now irreversibly lost. Authorized X Corps personnel still present in the facility will assist you in arming the system. Secondary proceedings. In the event that the self-destruction system cannot be activated, authorized to destroy the dam manually, toxic explosives that are being sent out by air. Or proceeding in either case, please ensure that all VIPs, classified research samples, have been retrieved and handled safely. Y'all just gonna blow up the dam? No nuke? Go anticlimactic! Yeah, I saw you hiding around the corner that time. Oh, that was beautiful. I have the Magnum still equipped. I completely wasted her. Hey, you know, I use guns on these guys. Things feel appropriate. I use guns on the really big, tough guys. Might as well be shooting them with Nerf guns. Have 
clue. Uh... Okay. Raven, I... All Exocore agents have an ID that they always carry with them. Sure, I can find it if I look hard enough. It's... Hey, I guess it's... It says... Raven... Well, an ID tag. Uh, I'll be honest, Raven, you should probably know your own code. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's early in here. I don't know why I'd come look for this, but all right. Uh, 91455. Four, five, five. Shot. Take him down nice and easily. Come on! Really? Gotta keep putting stuff around the corners. Acid guys. I'm not sure if I'm even hurting them. Ah, it's just. Affect them in a particular way. Not what I want to do. Have some healing. Want to save it. Dude, let's go for a ride. Yeah. 
down. Uh, let's look at the map. Here. Really? We're going to try this again because that's nonsense. I don't know if there's just some kind of delay in this thing or what. There we go, it took a couple of tries. Where sometimes the button just feels like it does not work. Or there's a lagger. Who knows? bar. That's really good. And we definitely need that right now. More health juice. ammo that is. Uh, let's draw. Drop that, because I really don't care about those things. Okay, that's fine, because then we can combine that. Right, back up. Alright, chill out finally. One of you wants to get up. <clears throat> or both of you. No idea. Squeaky toy. I don't care about you. Find the code. Probably going to be somewhere else then. Right, if we could find another safe spot. Mm -hmm. 
ammo. And I'm pretty sure that's an energy bar. Okay, on help. to be shrugging that off a little bit. Knocking out. You're all happy to come see me. Bloody spot. Nice dead space stomp here. Exactly. Long range shots seem to take him down one hit. wasn't bad. I'll give you that game. That was not bad. Okay, now we keep <laughs> okay, I 
kind of like that falling down the stairs animation. Why? I do. Yeah, those help pretty quickly. I don't well that's that helpful. After just a few steps beyond the threshold of Lair Dam, Raven sees that nobody is safe from the deadly infection. That even Hexacore's own battle hardened soldiers at headquarters. Neither the US Army nor the company's secret operatives have found a way to combat the infection, much less the creatures born from it. Even now, the sure signs of a monstrous run-in for a bleak and gruesome scene. Now that we're digging here into Hexacore Labs, hopefully we're coming to an end. Hope so. Yeah, let's end the episode here. We'll pick up next time exploring the Hexacore main headquarters. Uh, hopefully things go better. I mean, not for Raven or Damry, these guys out. They're pretty dull characters. But hopefully for us, is yeah, there's some, there's some roughness. Please, no more enemies around the corner at least. Give me something. Alright, so thanks for joining me guys. I do appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It helps out the channel a lot. See you guys next time. Some more. Daymare 1998.